Hey, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today I have a little video on trying to overcome anxiety and stage fright, performance anxiety. I think many guitar players, musicians, performers experience, and that's stage fright and nervousness. So I think I have a few things that can help with this, but let me read his question first. Mr. Taub. Do you have a course addressing overcoming stage fright? This is my biggest issue right now. I can't even play for my wife in the same room. I can go in the garage by myself, and she says I sound good, but freeze up when anybody else is around. What the heck can I do? I know at some point you pros have had this issue, and how did you overcome it? Regards, Dennis. Well, yes, I think most people have had that issue. It's just a level of degree. Do you have it like the jitters, little bit of stage fright? Is it somewhat uncomfortable? Or are you way out here where it's paralyzing, right? So we're talking about performance anxiety. We're talking about stage fright. We're talking about that uncomfortableness, right? Uh, playing in front of people or in front of a few people, in front of a large crowd. And we all know how that might manifest it itself in, in, with our bodies, you know, from a lump in the throat, clammy hands, dry mouth, uh, the sweats, the racing heartbeat, the mind going blank, the forgetting of the cords, muscles tensing up, shaky legs, sweaty palms. You know, these are some of the symptoms and we've all experienced this to some degree. And the first thing you have to realize is that you are not alone. This happens to just about every guitar player, every musician out there, every performer. Anxiety and stage fright is common even amongst professional musicians at the highest level. Uh, people like Ozzy Osbourne, Eddie Van Halen, Adele, Rihanna, uh, Luciano Pavarotti, uh, Katy Perry. Uh, Rod Stewart, Barbara Streisand, these are some of the people that have battled with stage fright uh, at some point in their careers. I remember for myself early on in my guitar journey, um, I had terrible stage fright also. Getting up in front of people was pretty crippling. Um, I was so you know, afraid of making a mistake, of failure, of people saying, oh, this guy's terrible, right? Um, and I, th I think that's what it's about with that fear, that, that paralyzing fear, that fright, is that we're afraid of making mistakes. We're afraid of people seeing us make mistakes and thinking that we're not good and them judging us, right? And that's what's so crippling about it. Playing in our bedroom or in our garage, in the basement, sitting there playing alone by yourself is a very low stress situation. And in that setting alone, you're not thinking about the techniques and the d devices that are, you know, have become instinctual in your playing. You're doing them automatically. It's only when we get in front of a crowd, even if it's the smallest crowd or a few people, where the self-consciousness strikes. And the stage fright can result in you overthinking your technique for fear of making a mistake. The second thing I want you to keep in mind is acceptance. Accept the fear and don't resist it, but rather work with it. Resistance is futile. Um, there's always going to be some uneasiness about getting up there in front of people. It's always going to be there. So I think a common mistake that people may make when trying to deal with the performance anxiety with the stage fright is that they try to totally eradicate it and totally calm themselves down to a point where it's totally gone. And just know that that's never going to happen. It's always going to be there, maybe even just a little bit, a little little jitters, a little shakiness. It's, it's always going to be there. Just know that there's nothing abnormal about feeling nervous about playing in front of people. It's just not the most natural thing to get up there in front of a crowd and to perform and to perform well. Not a very natural situation, so it's okay to be nervous. There's nothing wrong with that. So just accept that there's always going to be some uneasiness when you're doing your thing in front of other people, and that's okay. So what you want to try to do after you accept it is you want to try to rebrand that fear in your head, that anxiety, right? You want to rebrand that and call it excitement. A lot of neurologists agree that the the neurological things that go on in your brain, the pathways, the firing when you're afraid, it's those same pathways that are firing, that same neurological process when you're excited. So if you can kind of rebrand and rethink that fear, that anxiety, that stress, but think of it more as you're excited to play in front of people, that you're excited to bring the joy of music 
uh, to other people. That's a big thing. And if you can do that, it might take a little time, but really try to get in your head and do this rebranding. For me, it's all about the excitement. I'm really excited now, you know, to play in front of people. It's not really as much of a nervousness thing. Maybe just a little jitters, not much anymore, because I've done it so much and so often, playing in bands for so long. It's more of an excitement thing. So try to kind of flick that switch in your head and kind of repurpose your nervous energy into excitement. Easier said than done, but you can do it. Please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. And uh, please leave a comment in the uh, comment box below. Let us know what questions you might have. And if you like the video, please share it or click the like button, give it a thumbs up, and we so appreciate it. Thank you so much. The third thing that you can do to help your stage fright, your anxiety, is do it often. Play in front of people as much as you can or in front of a few people as much as you can. And you're probably saying, wow, this really makes me feel uncomfortable. And you're telling me to do it again and again and again. Yes. And the reason is it gets easier and easier and easier each time you do it. It becomes more like, all right, someone's here. I'll just do my thing. But you have to do it a lot. But start small. Just do it like uh, like Dennis wrote and just do it for your wife. But do it more often over and over again. And know at first you're going to make mistakes. You're, you're not going to be as good as you want. You can't get what's here or here into your hands and you're locking up. And, but that's going to get easier and easier with time. Eventually, maybe do it in front of a few friends. Or if you have a few people over for dinner or something, maybe play a couple of songs for them. Um, start to get together with other people have a little jam session where you're just going to get together on the porch and play some songs maybe with a two or three other people of your level it's a great thing to do because you're going to learn so much on top of that from the sharing of the experiences and teaching each other things you'll forget about the nervous energy do it again and again and again and again and the more and more that you do that in front of people in front of an audience the easier it's going to be this is proven Look at people's first performances of whatever they're involved in, in any type of performance compared to something two, three, four years later, and you'll see how much better, how much more natural, how much more themselves they are, right? Because you get better and better and better at it, right? Like with anything. So you got to do it a lot. So just don't let the fear and the anxiety cripple you to not doing it at all. Do it more. The fourth tip on dealing with stage fright, nervousness, performance anxiety is what I call getting yourself in the who cares mindset. If you make a mistake playing in front of your friend or in front of your family members or, you know, if you're at a party or something, who cares? Most of the time, if you just keep playing, most non-musicians in the audience won't even know if you made a mistake. The main thing is, you know, if you hit a wrong chord or something or wrong note, just correct it so the next time around you don't do it again. But if you make a mistake, what's the big deal? Who really cares? Do you really think like the next day, the day after, let's say you hung out with friends and you played some songs, two of your friends are going to be talking to each other at the breakfast table. Um, do you remember last night at Jim's house when he played Hotel California on guitar? Man, that was something how he hit that f sharp major chord he should have played an f sharp minor there i'll tell you he really messed that up stan i mean come on people aren't going to remember they don't care the main thing is that you had fun you played music and everybody enjoyed themselves and you brought the beauty and the joy of music to other people so you got to get into your head if you make a mistake just keep going pretend like you meant to do that you know don't stop and fret about it and make a big deal then people will know right same thing when you're playing live that's when people know when everybody stops or there's a big train wreck but if you keep going i mean if you call attention to it yes people will notice just keep going most of the time most people don't even won't even know you're gonna make mistakes it's gonna happen players make mistakes at the highest level major recording artists it happens we're human right we're flawed we're human beings we make mistakes and it's okay so know it's gonna happen don't try to be perfect remember perfection is not an option it's an obstacle okay get out there do your thing have fun know you're gonna make mistakes it's okay and who cares and the fifth and final thing i can say about it is being positive and the fun factor. And what I mean by that is you have to squash the negativity, the negativity of, oh, I can't do this. I'm not good enough. Oh, I can't do this. I'm going to make a mistake. You have to not let yourself think negative things. Oh, what if I mess up? What are people going to think? How are they going to judge me? I'm not good enough, right? You have to squash all that and you have to really be positive. Get out there and smile. Make it like you're enjoying yourself. Think of it like this. If those 
negative thoughts come into your head. Think of it like it's a computer screen, right? And you know how this, like a window, and you have all these windows open up on your screen. And you know there's that black X you can hit in the upper left-hand corner of the windows, and you could close that? Think of it like that. You're going to click on that X, and you're going to close that negativity window. Close it. Slam that door shut behind it. And it's all about the fun factor. It's all about enjoying the instrument. I mean, why are we doing this? Because it's fun, right? If it's not fun, why do it? So you want to enjoy that process and enjoy bringing music to other people and enjoy the benefits of playing and creating music. It's all about that fun factor. Don't forget that. Don't let, you know, don't take yourself too seriously. You know, you playing in front of your wife, you're not you're not at Carnegie Hall, right? No one's going to be recording it and going back and, and, and putting it on video and reviewing every second of it, right? Let's just, you know, enjoy, take a step back, say, you know what, let's just have some fun. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it more and more, get easier and easier. And I'm going to enjoy the process because that's what this is. It's a process from going from this really bad stage fright, tons of anxiety, and you start to lessen it, lessen it, lessen it, lessen it, keep going down that spectrum until it gets maybe a little bit of jitters. You know, it's always going to be there a little bit, but that's the whole thing. Remember, like I said in the beginning, it's a spectrum and you want to try to lessen that. And remember too, when you're playing in front of people, whether it's one person or whether it's a room full of people, you want to enlist the crowd as your ally. The audience really wants you to succeed. They're there to have fun. So I hope these tips help you to conquer your stage fright and your performance anxiety demons. I'll quote Ozzy Osbourne. He wrote it in his uh, autobiography. Let me read it to you. He said, to say that I just suffer a little from pre-show nerves is like saying that when you get hit by an atom bomb, it hurts a bit right? Um, he's someone who's really struggled with it. Please subscribe to the channel. Really helps us to keep bringing the content. Like, share the video. Please leave your comments below. I'll also put some links in the YouTube description box below to some free video lessons and some of my ebooks. Be sure to check those out right and thank you so much for joining us we so appreciate your support over the years and i'm going to keep the content coming stay tuned for lots more killer content and lessons remember your guitar playing is an evolution take care and rock on